I'm afraid not. That wouldn't be fair to the other contestants. Miss Burke will be notified of the outcome not later than 6 p.m. next Wednesday. What do you think, Hazel? I don't know. Miss Dot don't sound too crazy about me. Oh, uh, don't say that, Hazel. We're still gonna win. Well, all I know is if I lost that contest because I was asleep when the judges got here, I ought to be sent a lot further than the World's Fair <laughs> and on a one-way ticket. <laughs> Is this a private seance or can anyone join? Hi, Dad. <laughs> Come on, ring. Maybe it's busted. Broken. How can a phone be busted? Come on, ring. <laughs> Will you please tell me what you're doing? The judges said they'd call me Wednesday at 6 o'clock. Hello? <laughs> They hung up. <laughs> Telegram from Miss Hazel Burke. Thank you. Well, maybe this is what you've been waiting for. Oh. <laughs> Mr. B, what do you think I ought to do? Well, you could open it. No. <laughs> well, here goes. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, yippee, we won. Really, Hazel? Uh well, almost. Listen, you have tied for first place in a housekeeping contest with Mrs. Louise Masters. That's Eddie's mother. He's my pal. The judge decided the only way to break tie is to have Bake Off Saturday morning, 10 a.m. high school cooking class. Congratulations, Lester Morton. A Bake Off? <laughs> Nobody bakes better than Hazel. Oh. oh, now, son, don't get your hopes up too high. This other lady could be pretty good, too. Hazel, uh... Do you know anything about this, Mrs. Masters? Well, she's new in town, but I know she's a widow, and the girls say she's awful good. Oh, don't worry, Hazel. We can't lose now. Well, <laughs> I don't know whether we can't lose. All I know is that if I do lose, it'll be sort of like Leonardo da Vinci flunking an art class. <laughs> well, never mind, sport. You come on out in the kitchen, and we'll bake a cake just to keep in shape. <laughs> Ladies, we are gathered here to witness a bake-off between the two finalists in our contest, Housekeeper of the Month, sponsored by the, <coughs> the Morton Agency for Domestic Health. <laughs> our two finalists, Miss Hazel Burke. <laughs> and Mrs. Louise Masters. Are deadlocked in competition. Now, in order to help us pick the grand prize winner, the ladies will bake a pineapple chiffon cake using their own recipes and ingredients. They will be judged on the basis of technique and neatness as well as the appearance of the cake themselves. Very well, ladies. You may start when I tell you. And may the best lady win. Ready? Go! <laughs> Good luck. This is exciting, isn't it, Harold? Mm-hmm. But Hazel's bound to win. She is neither going to win. My mother's going to win, and we're going to the World's Fair. Your mother isn't half as good a cook as Hazel. Yeah, how come you know so much about it? <laughs> All right, boys, enough. Now, Mrs. Masters and Hazel are both good cooks, and it's going to be very difficult for the judges to pick a winner. Kind of like an old-fashioned horse race, ain't it? <laughs> Since the fat is in the fire, so to speak, 